Welcome back everyone to Satchel's Run, where this is going to be a bit of an interesting one. We start off with the Gen of Anna. On taking any damage, we have to choose something to destroy. So, honestly, there's a big part of me that just wants to leave this behind, and I'm actually shockingly tempted to. Uh, we'll see though, we are hopefully going to get down into the Enchanted Swamp. I'm going to keep it with me for a little bit until I have to destroy something important, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead to the Crypt. We might be lucky and find ourselves a treasure chest, or maybe two or three, uh, that will be able to help us out. Okay, we've got a couple of big fights straight ahead of us. Uh, there's really nothing else in here that I could drop behind. Um... I mean, the first thing I could get rid of is, of course, the buckler, but this is going to require me to destroy more and more and more things. I'm going to have to be, play very cautiously here. Right, so you're going to do three uh, fire damage straight off the bat. That's fine. I don't need... Well, I do need to put up a little bit of block to deal with the fire. Now then, this is only going to be doing uh, four damage. You haven't got that much health, so I could start wearing you down straight away. Uh, let's pop this out twice. There we go, up to 10. The next attack will actually bring you across to my side, but you're going to be a bit of a problem in and of yourself because on the next turn, you're going to go into your bomb phase. All right, so let's use this straight away. That pulls you across. That's actually a very good move for us. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more damage, but I do need to block the incoming fire damage. Very important that I don't forget that. Uh, let's go ahead and use a little bit more there. You're going to switch sides in a second, just because I've only just got you within the right range. There we go. Managed to block that damage. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you back on side. Over there, I could probably just focus on doing enough damage, and then once again, block so that we don't take any damage from the gem here. There we go. And there we are. Nice and easily done. We get a level up straight away. A very Sorely needed level up, I will add. Uh, is there anywhere in particular that I would really like to put this? Uh, we could put it here. It does have some merit in going there. I think that we're going to place it over here instead. Done. There we are. Let's uh, see what we get. Got a mana stone. We've got some talon boots for each pocket that has a space above this. Plus three block. Hmm. Each turn adds two block currently. Okay, well, let's bring along some fodder that I can use to destroy. I want the triangle each turn when active adds three charm to all creatures. That seems like a very, very good one. Uh, we could grab the crisis ring. Adjacent items are on use. Adjacent items are used. Adjacent items are then disabled for the rest of combat. Actually, not a bad thing to do on this. Hmm. No, we wouldn't want it disabled. I think disabling it would shut it down completely. But these seem like a really nice option for us. Is there a way that I would be able to finagle this in such a way? Like, we can bring this along for our uh, destruction fodder. That should be fine. This is still going to give us five. Uh, ideally, you want it at the lowest possible point and then fill as many single pockets, honestly, as you possibly can. But this is going to be uh, going to be good. This gives us five block each turn. Okay, I think that's all that we're going to take. Let's finish choosing there. Right, now we can actually have a look at this since we've got a little bit of space to put things into. That being said, we're just about to level up, so you know what, sure, we're going to take you on. Right, you're going to do some damage straight out the gate. First and foremost, let's activate this. I'm going to need to block that incoming damage. There we go. Let's do a bit of damage to you, then follow up with a charm as well. There we go. You're doing 10, but that should be fine. This will pull you across to our side. Uh, in just a moment, it will, anyway. Uh, we're going to want another block going on here. I'm going to go ahead and drop that down. That should keep you on our side for a little while. You are going to be quite the pain in the bum to get rid of. In fact, I'm, we're not going to get rid of you. I, sh I probably shouldn't have done that, really. Uh, well, uh, should have focused all of our attention on you. That is a bit of a shame, but there we are. Now, I would love it if the, the hazards that some enemies create would actually affect uh, the, uh, the opponents. But, oh well. I don't think it does. I do not believe that they're playing any kind of Tetris game themselves. Well, it's a pity, really. Uh, right, we could put that there, but it would leave one space unused. I think over here is the better option for us. For now, at the very least. There's that little space there that we could also make use of. But that seems like a good one to go for. I want to try and find some more feather shivs if we can. Uh, this one is only going to give us one. 
honestly, this would be better placed somewhere here. Uh, is there anywhere better? I don't think there is, frankly. Okay, well, we'll take the shiv with us. We have got a club. On you steals 10 damage and 3 weak to the enemy, but plus 1 for energy for each one. I will bring that along with me. I'll place these, or I'll turn these around so that this one is at least getting the benefit of that one space below it. Uh, or is it, it's actually, yeah, for each row below, plus one block. Hmm, if I place it over there, yeah, it's still only plus one block, because there's still only one space below it, no matter what. Uh, is anything here better than carrying this around? I think the wallop of, uh, block there is going to be much, much better for us. There we go, we've got a little bit of, uh, choice now. We're far enough away from our level that I very much doubt a rat wolf and a green snail are going to be useful for us. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and check out the chest straight away. Okay, what have we got? We've got a ring that I would like. We've got symbols. Okay, that's an interesting one. We haven't seen those before. This will count as a drum, no doubt. When active, uh, adds two charm to all enemies. On use, this item activates. I'm okay with bringing that with us. And sacrificing a shiv in favor of it, frankly. Uh, this gives us, each turn gives five block. I mean, it would only give us, uh, ultimately this would bring us up to the point where that would give us, oh, it would also upgrade this. Okay, so this is now giving us what the rough buckler would give us for each use, but passively, but only once. Right now, I feel a little bit insecure about not being able to spend a lot of my points on blocking. So I'm going to keep that with us for now. Bit of a shame, because I wouldn't have minded taking that with us, honestly. I'm going to swap you out for the luck ring, though. I feel that is a much better choice for us. And I am completely aware that I do not need to bring the, the gem of Anna with us. But it's a fun little challenge, because this isn't going to be an easy run regardless, just because of the, uh, the actual mission. This is, again, an easy mission. So having a little bit of an extra extra bit of strategy I need to take into account makes it a bit more fun. Hark! You were greeted by a member of the patrol. I wouldn't mind a shield. Can we get a better one? From beneath his bushy tail, he pulls a shield. This may protect you. Remember, loot is only valuable if you make it back alive. Uh, ooh. The Wing Crest Shield. We do have a couple of uh, researchers that want it. If there is a weapon in this pocket, this item is disabled. Add 10 block. Okay. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm A-OK -okay with that. Wow, okay, that's a massive upgrade. That is absolutely wonderful. I'm loving the different items that we get as well, based on Satchel. I wasn't sure if they were going to be unique items. I mean, obviously the, the instruments seem to be unique to Satchel, but that's something I like about Backpack Hero over something like Backpack Battles. But that being said, I do also, it's, it's an interesting one. I'm, I'm not actually sure which one I prefer or if there is a prefer to it or if there's just an appreciation of the different. Backpack Heroes, each character feels and plays differently, whereas in Backpack Battles, each character more or less can be made to play the same way. They just have some synergies that can, that are unique to them. But it doesn't really change the overall feel of the way the game plays. Whereas this one definitely has that going for it. I hope the shield serves you well. It will. Thank you very, very much indeed for it. Who are we going to be fighting, by the way, so we can prepare? Ah, Queen B. So lots of ads. Rightio. That's going to be a, a tricky one. Right, need to get you out of here as quickly as we can. We are going to have to use this, sadly. So let's go ahead and pop that up. And we're going to turn both of these on straight away. And then we're going to shift you. There you go. Now this combined will give five, uh, oh, will it not? Adds two charm to all enemies when attacked. Interesting. I hadn't read that properly. Okay, no, I'm actually okay with that. I think that's actually pretty cool. Uh, okay, so who are we gonna switch over? You're gonna be healing yourself, which actually is a problem in a way. Um, I could use this to weaken you significantly. The weak is going to go through your block regardless, so that'll pull down your your power quite a lot. And then we're go, going to go ahead and add a little bit more uh, music. Uh, sorry, uh, charm to you. Next attack should bring you within my charm range. There we go. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. Beautiful. Now, you're going to do seven damage, which is beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and add a little bit more weak again, but then we're going to just focus at this point on charming. There we are. I'll give you a bit of a wallop anyway, you scallywags. Take that with you. A lesson for the future. 
Oh, level up. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, where are we going to place this one? I'm kind of tempted to do something like that. We could also have a uh, big pocket over the th on the side. Uh, is there anywhere in particular? I, if we put this here, well, uh, we're kind of wasting some of its potential, I feel. Going here is a possible play. Uh, there is even better, but it does eliminate so much of the side for me to use. It's a bit of a weird one, but I think I'm going to go over here ultimately. Sure. All right, let's have a look what we get. We've got another shield. Okay. Uh, we've got the potted aloe. Heals 6 HP and removes 5 poison from himself, but it's destroyed when you do it. Now, adjacent weapons get plus 1 uh, damage. It has a lot of upgrade spots, but I'm not really looking for that right now. Uh, is this doing a little bit better now? In fact, it would be better if I had that there, I think. That's going to give me a lot more block. All right, well, we'll grab everything we can. I don't really need the uh, the treasure, but that's fine. I guess I can bring the shurikens. I've got two more items. Adjacent items are used. If I, if I uh, use this, I'm not really going to, I don't think. Uh, actually, let's grab this. I don't think I'm going to need it. We're realistically healing. It's not going to be a... a an issue, but removing something like poison, which is constantly going to do damage to... Ooh. Now that's an interesting one. On take damage, not on take health damage. It's interesting how this is going to work, because poison could potentially be the breaker of this build easily. The ultimate counter to a gem of Anna. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, we'll see how that goes, because one, one stack of poison could wipe out my entire inventory. I hadn't even considered that, but it does say damage rather than health. So it, it's an interesting one, because from what I can understand, damage has to go through block, whereas poison goes straight to health, so it might not count. We'll see how that goes. We will see how that goes. Don't need... Well, I mean, we may as well collect it anyway. I don't know if there's any experience points it gives us. No. Oh, well. Moving on. Right, part two of the crypt. Let's see where we go from here. We've got a chest over here. Sure, I'll see what's in there. We have got uh, a harp. Very, very nice. We've got a couple of other odds and sods. Each turn adds two charm to all enemies. I mean, there's not re any reason for me to not go for that, frankly. Except for space. Uh, which I am okay with. Let's pop that in there. And... Uh, at this stage, I'll go with the shiv instead of the treasure. We really don't need the treasure, frankly. Uh, I think this is a better design. That's going to be pretty amazing for us. Right, let's get on to the next fight. Right, you're going to do 10 damage straight down. We've got a lot of incoming damage, actually. So I'm going to need to use this twice just to fend all of this off. But we are still going to get slimed, which I'm not at all happy about. Um, what do I want to use? Do I want to do damage or do I want to turn on? Let's turn on the symbols. And then we'll just uh, wallop you a little bit. Uh, let's go for you, actually, since you're going to be uh, running off with some of my cash if I don't. All right, enter. Now, you should all add some extra problems for each other. I wonder how this can spread. It's going to be interesting to see. Uh, will it be able to spread out? Because I think it has to go orthogonally. Hmm, that's going to be quite a fun one to see how that, that plays out. Uh, right, we're going to want to, once again, block pretty heavily. That'll take care of everything that's coming our way. You are going to heal, though, which I'm not a great fan of. Let's turn that on. Uh, let's bring you across to my side. And let's start work on taking you out, shall we? Now, let's see. Does this spread? Uh, right now, it absolutely will. Okay, well, let's pop... We don't want to take out all of our block, but let's get all of this over there. I will have to get rid of it this turn, I think. Right, you've joined forces. You are making off with some cash, though, which I'm not entirely certain I'm all, all right with letting happen. Uh, I could gain access to this weapon here, but I'm, I'm really not sure I need to. Let's just see what happens. The entire team is about to evacuate. This isn't a thief. It's just that if you kill them, you'll get extra gold. But will this count as, as defeating them is an important question. Uh, you know, just for the sake of it, we'll use that again. And who else is closest? You. Let's go for you. There you go. And then wallop again for good measure. Oh, did we get in the gold? I don't think we did, actually. 
All right, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. Okay, huge bag of coins. Uh, I mean, it's cool, but... Ah, there we go, the feather shit. That is what we've been looking for. Let's get you in there. All right, we've also got a hammer. Hammer's two spaces away. You get plus two damage, deals four damage. Uh, I think we're going to pop you down there. Now, this one does... Uh, so, we've got a, a three weapons that cost nothing to use, which is very, very nice. Uh, each turn adds one spike to stuff. This is actually something we want to collect. Sadly, I just don't have the room for it. Otherwise, I would absolutely and happily take it. Hmm. The Windcrest Shield. Are you a part of any particular research, or are you just a shield? You're just a shield. Well, what about you? I think this shield is better, ultimately. As much as this is a, a nice shield, we can afford to have more items. Um, on you side, 12 block and 3 burn to self. I'm really not thinking about taking the Swatting Tower, I'm afraid. Uh, ooh. Actually, combined with the Gem of Anna, this becomes a very potent weapon. When destroyed, deals 22 damage to all enemies. If I take damage, I have to choose this. I can choose this to be destroyed. Okay, we're going to keep that with us. That seems like a very sensible option for us. All right, we've got a shop up here. Let's have a quick gander. What have you got? You've got uh, a bunch of uh, supplies. Honestly, if I could afford to bring that with me, I would absolutely take it. The Cloud Sword. For each adjacent or diagonal structure, plus two damage. On you, steals nine damage. I mean, that does look very nice. But there's nowhere I could really put it. I could put it there, I guess. But no, we're not going to be taking that with us. Shame, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we have got a little bit of extra experience over here. We've got two options, but let's go and take care of this fight first and foremost. Let's get rid of the bee, because you're going to actually be a, a real pain. Uh, let's go get that up to spec. Let's use... Well, we could just do some damage first. Wow, you've already been pulled across. That is impressive. Uh, sure, I'm just going to make sure you're not... Well, you know what? If I activate both of these, then you're definitely not going to be switching sides. So, there we go. And we're not going to have to deal with the hazard either. There we are. And we've got a little bit of incoming damage, but nothing that's going to get through our current defense. So, we can just focus all out on attacking you. There we go. And then we'll just charm you for the rest of the points that we have. There we are. Okay. And let's see. We've got another triangle, so this would be six a turn. That is really, really far too tempting. <sighs> okay, you're going to have to replace the hammer, I think. We'll get the feather ships, because the feather ships now are each doing eight damage. The hammer is great, especially in, in combination with other hammers, but... This is now six a turn. This is also another two. So we're, we're now applying, once these two are activated, eight charm per turn without doing anything else. If we activate the symbols as well, then every time they attack us, it's adding an extra two. So potentially, even if it was just against one enemy, as long as they attacked every turn, that's 10 extra charm a turn. So that's going to scale very quickly. All right, let's go grab this gold. Thank you, thank you. And let's go see what the events are. We really don't need the health, so I'm going to ignore that for now. Oh, it's the possum. I'll pray for him once again. You kneel to pray for him. He opens a single eye. Nobody has ever done anything nice for me before. He says, you aren't here just to loot me. He gives you a gift and then lays back down. There is an alternate version of this, by the way. It doesn't always play out like this. Uh, no, we're not going to take that. Thank you very much. You can keep it. We'll lay it back down on your on your chest. Okay, to do a trade. Get a different item of the same rarity. No. Higher rarity, yes. Same rarity, no. I really, really do want those supplies, but there's no way I've got room to carry them. Maybe. Maybe later we will. Alright, let's have a quick gander. What do we got to fight with here? Okay, so... Oh, this is where... You know what? Maybe we should have gone to the Bramble to get to the Enchanted Swamp. No? Did it Deep Cave? Ah, oh, there we are. <laughs> I was quite concerned. Alright, so we've got a little bit of incoming damage. Nothing too terrifying, but something that we do need to deal with. Alright, let's activate both triangles. And then womp you with the shiv. Actually, I should have just activated the symbols. That would have been fine as well. There we go. Got a little bit of incoming damage now. Let's activate the symbols as well. I would very much like you to be on our side. Thank you very much. And let's just uh, top up the charm over here. There we go. And then do a little bit of damage. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but uh, basically you had it coming. There we go. And we should be able to just remove you. 
<laughs> wow, the amount of charm we're stacking up is absolutely fantastic. We're going to be able to finish this fight super fast. We want a stronger, charming uh, item, but they oh, actually, never mind. With these three feather shields, we've already defeated the first boss, taking not a single hit. Absolutely marvellous. All right, level up. Okay, so what are we going to go for next? This is an important one. Uh, let's see. We could pop something over there. It would make almost the best use of this space. And you know what? It's good enough for now. Sure, we'll take that. All right, well, how much are we getting from this? For each pocket that has a space above, this gets three block. We're currently getting five block. Let me move this around a little bit. Pop you down there. There we go. We're now going to get... Adds 11 block for each pocket that has a space above plus three block. That's absolutely one, one, two, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. All right, when you use uh, five items, deal six damage to all enemies, or the brutal bomb stone. All weapons get 500% bonus damage. All weapons get this effect. On use, destroyed. Hmm. This wouldn't be a bad choice if you had weapons like the moth bomb. Hmm. If you end your turn with zero block, adds one energy. Uh, I mean, sometimes we don't need it. Um, we well, well, we won't actually be able to do that because our armor is going to give us loads of block anyway. I think it has to be this. But I can see ways of using this. If you had some way of generating shivs, for example, or, for example, you had the coral, this would be amazing. Uh, well, actually, no, you still need the, the items there. But either way, th this build is probably one of the best ones for it, if I'm perfectly honest, simply because we would be able to... We can we can fight without using weapons. But for now, we're just going to go with this. Let's grab that. There we go. Uh, when you use five items, so one, two, three, four, five, I guess. Uh, I wonder if these count as being used every turn. They might do, which would be fantastic. But there we go. Let's go and check this chest as well. What we got over here? We've got ooh uh, something that's lucky. We've got another shiv. Take that. The metallic mask. On take damage. Adds one dodge to self. Not an or awful one for us, if I'm honest. Uh, oh, we need this. What do we need it for? Specifically, we need it for flowers. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll take that then. Uh, in that case, this goes there. We'll uh, leave this behind. Uh, though a reg uh, shiv is re is actually required. For what? But we've already used that. Really, are you just telling me that you need it because... Uh, scallywag you. Does that really count? For real, for real? Yeah, apparently it does. Okay. <laughs> Can't trust you then. Uh, in here, there's nothing specific. But that one is specifically desired. So we'll bring along that one. And this one, there's just um, armor, I guess. Yeah, the the re research is not showing up properly for us for some reason. But let's go ahead and increase our max health. Might as well. And then we're heading to the Enchanted Swamp for the first time. There we go. Let's find out what lurks in the swamp. Okay. We've, okay, right. So we've got countdown timers on these. I don't know if I have explained this before, but the countdown will go down every time you take a move. This one is going to be gone in eight seconds, and it's just regular experience, but effectively, you have to get to them. We're not going to be able to get to both of these if we go for this, and I'm going to go for this, so I reckon we're just going to be getting the money and the gold, depending on, and well, in fact, that's a choice, so it, it doesn't matter. So let's go here first. There we go. Grab the experience. Then we are immediately going to head over here. The Sage Toad and the Salamander. Let's go there. Hello. Now, let's have a look at you. Hazard, when your turn ends, minus one to the energy cost. On use, destroyed. It costs two to start with. Okay, fair enough. Um, tax for 12 damage. We are already defending for that much. So that's not an issue for us. Uh, we're going to be keeping you. Well, let's first turn all of these on. I don't need to uh, use my shield at all this turn, which is... Absolutely marvellous. Uh, oh, okay. We just did a bit of extra damage thanks to uh, to the uh, Belt of Knives. Thank you very much, Belt of Knives. All right, that should be good. And we are going to take the Hex, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to place it on you. Well, maybe I shouldn't. Uh, let's pop it over there. Assuming it doesn't expand out, then we're fine. 
Right, you're now on our side and you're really not going to be changing side. You're going to apply poison. Now that I cannot abide. How do we change it? I think we just have to go all in on just trying to charm you. And then uh, do as much damage as we can as quickly as we can. Because this is the moment where we find out whether or not this is going to count. And if it does, then I'm going to be getting rid of that. Let's find out. I mean, for sciencing, is worth it. Oh, no, never mind. We will see, I guess. Let's get rid of that for now. Uh, 33. And you know what? I'm going to charm you a little bit more. But then, just in case you lost me some items. Take that, this scallywag. And then another charm to make up for it. Okay, let's find out. I did. And poison does. Well. Okay. Duly noted, poison is our enemy. All right. And the annoying thing was we had won that battle at that stage. Oh, well. It's not the worst thing that could have happened, I suppose. Right, we've got a guitar, two guitars and a flute. On use adds five charm. Can be used one time each turn. On use adds three charm to enemy. So, really, it's just a... Oh, it's a free item. Okay. Oh, why did I go for that instead of the explosive? What a dummy! That's the whole reason I've got the explosive. I, it's been so long, I forgot, okay? <laughs> Shush. Uh, but I feel suitably dumb. Uh, well, we are going to take that just for the extra block. Um, actually, footwear is a better option for that. So let's pop it down here and turn that around. There we go. Uh, but realistically, I kind of want the, the tunes. Let's bring those along. I have no reason to use anything other than the shivs. And now that that's there as well... It's going to help out a little bit more. Ah, I can't believe I didn't get rid of that, though. Uh, that was the whole point of me keeping that bloody thing. Uh, we're keeping the shield for now. I, I, I'm not confident that we can uh, work without that. All right, finish choosing. It's a shame, though, that we didn't get the guitar. <laughs> didn't get the guitar because of my own stupid fault. We got there just in time. Marvelous. Right, let's find out who's up next. Oh, the Sorcerer's Queen. Do you notice? Gee, an explorer here? The rabbit is here, practicing spells on nearby rocks. I've learned so much, she says. Can I interest you in a magic book? Mm. We need, need a book, but I don't really have room for a book. Not right now. Rats, she says. See, that would be offensive if I was playing with this. <laughs> uh, a drop of red, a drop of green. Why, hello there. Her voice is cool and friendly. Not what you expected. May I interest you in some potions? In return, I ask for just a taste. A taste of me? You ask? Just a nibble, darling, she says. You'll barely feel a thing. Uh, no. Thank you, because I'd probably have to destroy something if you did. Uh, I can't believe I brought that along all this time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grump about that for a while. Uh, all right, we need a little bit of extra protection here, though. Uh, okay, that should be good enough. Uh, right, so let's get you two turned on. Well, you're all going to attack, so I might as well activate this as well. Uh, then we're going to... Who are we going to go for? Auto shield. When damage is received, add four block. Oh, fair enough. I'm going to go for you then as my primary target. And then whomp. And whomp again. There we are. All right, let's see how this goes. Thank you. Oh, that's so amazing. When we're fighting against multiple opponents. Honestly, if they continue to do this, it'll probably... Uh, if they get spikes up and running, it'll probably be in our best interest. So just wait. Just block and let them keep charming themselves thanks to the symbol. Uh, let's bring your health down as much as I can, though. And then just unload with the flute. There we go. And now let's see how this goes. There we are. Nice little bit of damage over there. Now, you're going to kill yourself, unfortunately, but uh, I don't need to block from this incoming damage, so taking that damage in, no reason for me to. Well, no reason for me to at all, actually. You know what? Well, let me just go ahead and uh, charm you a little bit extra so you'll spread nice uh, nice gossip about me in the dungeon. I mean, you know, we're letting them live. May as well let them live to say something good about it. Right. We could pop that there, or at this point, we could go for a chonky item, but the issue here is that we're giving up so much space for it. Uh, if we place this there, at least we're going to be adding to our boots. 
So it makes a lot of sense, that one. Uh, let's get you down here. Let's pop you somewhere. Will you be able to do me some good? I guess here. We're going to move these around a little bit. There we are. That'll give us uh, two block. You're going to give us two block. They're not the best options right now. Ooh, we've got the flame hammer. Can be used one time each turn for zero uh, energy. Hammers two spaces away get plus four burn. On use, ten damage. If only we had hammers in this build. That would be fantastic. The damage knife we actually need for some specific research, though. Let's have a look at you. Uh, yeah, so we can get the dueling sword. All right, well, we'll bring you along then. Uh, pick you up. I guess we'll bring... Ah, oh, we can't fit the flame hammer then. Well, that's a little bit less than ideal, isn't it? Uh, let me shimmy some stuff around, though. Pop you down there. Symbols can go here. You can move across. There we are. That gives us a bit more block here. And I think doing the same over there will give us a little bit. No, it's still giving the same amount of block. Um, well, what do I want to discard? Well, honestly, in that case, I don't care for you as much. Let's bring the flame hammer. We don't have hammers with us, but we might have an opportunity to pick some up. So, we'll hope for that. Plus, it's an extra item I can use in a turn. Uh, we've got another... We've got... Ooh, okay. We've got another set of shoes. We've got a Toad's Hammer. Can be used one time each turn for mana. Hammers two spaces away get plus 50% bonus damage. Wow. So now we need a mana gem. It is getting increasingly difficult for me to hold on to these. That is going to give us a deck... No, it'll give us flowers. As one energy adds luck. I mean, it's possibly worth it. Whereas this one gives us a new sword uh can be used one time each combat on use deals 25 damage on take damage this item is refreshed and can be used again that's a really powerful weapon i'm going to sacrifice you for it all right you can head on over there we need to shimmy some things around but oh we need to shimmy them around less than i thought huh is there anything else i want to bring with me then is there anything else i want to lose Three block per turn would probably mean I'm going to need to use, start using my shields more. But we could get rid of that, I guess. Uh, in exchange, we'll bring in another harp. Adds two charm to all enemies each turn. You know what? This is actually a pretty good build. And uh, the Welsh in me says more harps, yes. Well, want to see what I have today? I would, actually. Ooh, a violin. The, the me in me says yes. Ah, the only instrument I've actually been taught to play. The others I just kind of picked up by watching YouTube tutorials. Uh, for each separate pocket in your backpack, three to charm. On use, add three charm to enemy. I think so. I might have to give up a harp for a violin. Look, okay. Other than the triangles, which we're not going to count right now, it gives us an even more uh, complete set of instruments. It, it, it's okay. This is fine. We'll say goodbye to the harp. In exchange for the violin. That, that's my, that is my personal choice. I'm greedy, I know. Uh, there we are. That's going to be wonderful. It does cost me energy, but this adds 21 charm. At this point, will I ever... I actually won't ever use this. I will never use that. Uh, so, in that ch case... Let's just bring the... There we go. How marvellous. I do lose the flute. I feel a little bit bad about that because I think flutes can be quite epic. But there is no conceivable reason why I would use the flute instead of the violin at this point. The classic guitar I'll still use because it's free. But yeah, no, that's, that's ridiculous. The violin is going to make this run. Let's be honest with ourselves. Uh... No, I'm not going to... Well, I would like to bring the book, but they, I'm not going to. I'm already having to sacrifice things that I want to bring with me. Am I going to find Tote? Because I've still got Tote's Totem with me. Uh, right. Yeah, ooh, okay. Uh, he thinks he's stronger than he is. Uh, on five damage received, you will change things up a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, well, first things first. Let's uh, do six damage to you. Womp. You're now going to block, which is great, because you are not going to do enough damage to me, so I don't need to worry about anything. Uh, I could bring you on side by doing this and then that. There we are. Uh, do I want to activate both triangles? Uh, yeah, let's activate both triangles. 
And then we're going to just wallop you for 15 damage. Uh, no, actually, I'll do it to you so that it brings you across to my side. Then we're going to wallop you with a bit of damage. And that's it. Okay, end turn. There's going to be so many items that get destroyed on damage that I'm going to need to bring back to have Sack Hell because I never keep them in my backpack. I always use them. But there we are. That was a nice, easy fight. There we go. We've got the mana that I need for the Toad Hammer. Uh, this can also only be used once each turn. Oh, there's the Moth Bomb. That would have been glorious if we could have made that uh, that previous uh, bomb work for us, but uh, sadly, no. Uh, this is too large for us to really build into our current build, uh, but as much as having these two triangles is super cool. With the violin now with us, I don't think we're going to get as much use out of these. I really don't. So we've got two things that we want to activate each turn, and that allows us to still use this a bit. This we can use once in a, in a round, but uh, that's going to be quite nice. This does a wall of... See, we're getting the 50% the bonus damage regardless, which is actually really good, but now we can also add burn to our enemies, and that can stack quite nicely. Uh, all right, let's uh, go ahead, finish choosing there. Let's see what our shop has to offer. You've got the flute. <laughs> Wizard's Cap. Each turn removes one energy and adds four mana to the connected mana network. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. Huh. It would mean I'd be able to use this every turn. In fact, it could, it, it could mean, like, well, yeah, not every single turn. I, I, there isn't anything else I'd be able to build into this. At this point, though, I've only got one spot for a pocket on this side. I've got one spot to increase this, or to increase this by one tile. Over here, I've got three spots for an extra pocket, or two pockets if I really wanted to. Uh, it's, it, that's, that's our choice at this point, but I've got one more tile that I can expand this one regardless. Uh... If I wanted to merge these pockets, I could, but I don't really want to. Okay, well, that's uh, that's nice. We know that that's there. We're far away from the money that I would need for it, but that is an amazing cap. If you were going a, a full magic build, that would be bonkers good. Right, you're going to be using Sticky Honey. Uh, okay, Dependent. When Honey Guide is defeated, char change the behavior in future turns. So peaceful and calm. It's because you've got honey. So let's not take out the Honey Guide, shall we? Let's just leave the honey guide until you are on our side. Uh, right. Well, given that then, let's open up strong with a violin. Whomp. In fact, I could do that twice and have you on my side. Uh, I see no reason not to. There we go. Now you're going to do a wallop amount of damage. Uh, I could bring you across as well. And at this point, you're just on your own. Um, do I really care? Um, I guess so. Let's, let's just take you out. There we go. Now you are in feral badger mode. You would normally do quite a lot of damage, but uh, not this time. Um, let's just uh, patch up our, our ruined relationship because I smacked you twice in the back with two shivs. Snap, snap. Look, okay. You decided to get angry. That's on you. You win. I do. What do I get? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, totem. If there is an empty space above, create a totem. Add six block. Use each totem in this column when I set it off. Um, this would really just wipe itself out. Is there anything here that I really need for research? Let's have a good look. No, nothing there that I really need for research, so I'm not going to take anything. Our build is pretty solid as it is. Uh, what do we have over here? Let's have a gander. At this point, I'm really just largely looking for things that I, I need for some specific research. I've not seen you before, the Psy. I've not seen a musical... Adjacent to diagonal instruments, drum, uh, instrument and drums get plus one charm. Well now. Well now. That is actually a very, very tempting offer. Uh, I could shimmy you around a little bit. It's a shame that you exist only there. Um, 
Let's have a think. If I moved you up like so, moved you into this position, can I make this possible for me? Basically, if I pop this musical gem, we're only affecting a couple of things right now. But if I got that up there, that's not a bad effect, and I can just have that one in there. I do lose one other feather ship. I'm, I'm slowly hemorrhaging feather ships, but I feel that that's okay. My feather ships now are doing very little damage, realistically. And this, I can still use and do wallop loads of damage. This is worth two feather ships. I'll just regret not having it when I expand my... Uh, my uh, pockets out a little bit more, which we're not that far away from actually Hello, right. I want you on side as quickly as can be so let's just uh, bring you over. I'll activate this as well uh, I'm also gonna activate well how much damage we've got incoming. We've got a decent amount of damage incoming uh, Let's not take damage for no reason at all There's no benefit to that in my opinion right, I'm gonna be able to bring you down onto our side. So you're gonna be on our side healing from now on. Uh, I would like you to start burning. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, for now, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll also use the guitar. There we go. That is good enough for the time being. We'll be able to bring you on side next turn. You will slime us though, which is a bit of a pain, but oh well. Uh, I guess we could afford to place these over there. I'm not going to be able to use it anymore. So that one will actually go down in damage output because it's lost the 50%. Uh, no, actually, it still gets it, apparently. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's okay. Right, let's uh, bring you across, and there we are. Turn out over. The violin is, is completely broken, this building. In fact, I could put it over there, realistically. Get uh, extra charm. <laughs> I don't want to do 21. Is there any point? I guess I could. In fact, if I really wanted to, I could do something like this. Which I'm okay with. Yeah, that works. That works quite well for me. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a bonkers build. Right. Uh, this shield is amazing. Uh, is there anything here we absolutely need? I'm not going to be able to take the armor, so hopefully not. Uh, but adding three spikes to self each turn is fantastic. That is better than any of the other helmets we could have. That we can upgrade. Uh, it's just... Uh, am I ever using the symbols at this point? It costs one to activate as well, and I'm really not. So, sure, we'll grab this just so I'm stacking spikes. Because that'll mean that they, there's a chance that when they attack me, they'll still change sides because their health will drop. That'll do. Right, we've got one enemy and some experience down here. Let's go and say hello to the enemy. Hello there. Uh, wow, okay. Let's have a look at you. The turtle. Are you sure you're a turtle? Oh, okay, yeah, you are. I thought those were wings. I was like, is this a vulture turtle? Their shells are hard, their hearts are even harder. Each combat adds 50 block. Each combat, so you get that once. Okay. And you've got Wary. When 50 total damage is received, add 25 block and change intention to will add loads of block. Fair enough. Let's not leave you in the game for too long then, shall we? Uh, I want to take you out as quickly as I can, so let's open up with the hammer. Womp, and then follow up with a shiv. And you're now on my turn. I can finish you off next turn. That's fine. Uh, we are going to use mana on you. Because six and six I can deal with. Uh, do I? Am I confident I could finish this off? No. No, sadly, I am not that confident about it. I mean, I'd be able to do 66 which we wouldn't have there. So instead, let's focus our efforts on you and bring you across to us instead. There we go, we'll activate the triangle. Then I'll just start charging up our charm on you. That'll do. This is gonna mean that you're, well, I mean, honestly, you've got so much charm, this will never be a problem, but you'll always be on side at this point. Let's just dump all of our points into charm. There we go, and done and done. The power of harps and violins. Uh, this is exactly how real life works, by the way. Uh, okay, we've got the tragic comedy shield. Um, not as good as this, frankly. Well, I, actually, it is the same. And is this a better one? I mean, it's uncommon, so... 
Yeah, we could use that on, on a couple of places. We couldn't use this. Sure, okay. We'll pop that in there, then. Now we've got another shoe hat. Uh, we've got some items. A paladin sword. I mean, we want that, obviously. But we've already got uh, enough items that we want. We've also got a hem here. I'm desperately tempted to get rid of our only other... Well, our last remaining feather shiv. Let's have a look at you. View research. Is there a specific place you're needed? Yeah, you are needed for... Ooh, the Venom Sword. The Venom Sword is so good. Does damage equal to 100% of your current poison? On you, steal zero damage. Physician, heal thyself. Hmm, okay. Well, that's actually different from how it used to be. I thought this sword... Oh, no. No, I think the Venom Sword always did damage equal to poison, but there's another item that then removes poison. For a specific crate build I once did where I would intentionally get poisoned, kill the enemy, and then wipe the poison out each turn. Uh, this is really tempting to bring along. But I'd have to sacrifice something enormous in order to get it, so I'm, I'm afraid we can't. That's a shame, but there's always other runs that we can pick up those sorts of things. Uh, let's grab you and you. See what we have over here. Will you take a spin? Uh, no. No, I'm not. Uh, we've, we've got way too much stuff. I haven't got a key. All right, then. When your turn ends, minus one to energy cost. On use destroyed. This is a full hex over here. How about you don't fight against me? I think that would be truly fantastically grand. In fact, I'm just going to wallop you with enough stuff that's going to pull your uh, resistance down a bit. Top that up. Use that again. Use triangle. There we go. We should be good at this point. There's nothing here, really, that's going to be able to phase us. And that's going to make sure that your health is in check. Oh, wow! <laughs> Truly amazing! Three, three, four... This is fantastical. Okay, fine. We'll just end the end the fight. Uh, they basically this was the equivalent of the satchel just doing a flurry to intimidate, and it absolutely worked. All right. Uh, right. Okay, that's the best uh, one for us. So perfect, uh, perfect option. Now I can move the. Well, we'll keep the shield over there. Uh, conductive for each adjacent curse, get plus one energy. Each combat adds zero energy. You know what? Now we actually kind of want to get some curses if we could. Uh, this can move down, I guess. Um, oh, we can bring this back again. Okay, that's actually quite nice. I'm a okay with that. Oh, we need a throwing star, whereas we don't need a this. All right. Let's have a look. How many throwing stars do we need? We specifically only need one, and then we'll get the Stacking Star after that. What does the Stacking Star do? Uh, creates a shuriken in this space, deals three damage, and then destroys Oh, okay, so that's uh, not terrible, I suppose. Not the best thing in the world, but sure. Okay, finish that. Let's see what you have to offer. Uh, nothing. Okay, onwards to, I believe, the finale of the Enchanted Swamp. Yeah, here we go. So, we might find Tote down here. Possibly. Hello. The speaker. The speaker interprets the will of the Dark Lady. I see. Uh, I would very much like you not to be an issue. So uh, let's go ahead and just uh, play some beautiful music. Convince you of our amazingness. How can you fight against someone who can, who can serenade with the violin like this? Come on. Already up to 60. <laughs> You got no chance to survive. Take your time. Uh, that's a lot of incoming damage, though. Um, not gonna lie. Uh, let's block all of that incoming damage first and foremost. Uh, let's go all in on that, and then wallop you with this. Bring your health down even further. There we are. And now everyone's gonna leave. Perfect. Okay. I'm good with this. Oh yeah, you win. Yes, we do. Right. Sadly, we didn't find Tote. We went this whole way. Man, she'll trust someone who is carrying this. Well, I mean, clearly, did I just miss the, the right place to hand that in? Apparently I did. Oh, well. 
Uh, let's pop this down there. We're also going to place... Uh, what are we going to swap this out for? I, The triangle isn't used for anything now. So we'll pop that in there. There we go. All right. Well, that's a bit of a shame. I was very, very hopeful that we were going to find Tote down here. But maybe Purse has to be the one to talk to them. Ah, uh, that could that could be the case. It might be that Purse has to be the person who does the negotiation. Right, I'll bear that in mind. So we're going to definitely take a Purse-centric mission after this one. But first, let's go ahead and see. We've got a consumable. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's find ones that directly need that. Now, there's at least one. There we go. You may have it. We've unlocked the flowers. Perfect. New item unlocked. Always great to see. We've got a, probably a couple of things that we can go through, but first let's go and find anything that we actually need. And common shield, sure you can take that. We've got a little buckler, a little shield with sass and pep. How marvellous. This will further unlock something else. What does the, the little buckler unlock? Because it's uh, apparently a very specialist item. Let's go back there and see if that's updated. Uh, there we go. We can get the Swamp Buckler. Adds block equal to 100% of your current poison. On use, adds zero block. Removes 100% of poisons from himself. There we go. So this would pair with the Venom Blade. Allow yourself to get horribly poisoned. Use the Venom Blade and then use this. Ah, oh, marvellous. I deeply approve. Let's see if we can build that up. Uh, let's see. Did we... We had a sword. There we go. The Damaged Knife. And you know what? Sure, we're just going to complete that one straight out. The dueling sword has been unlocked. That one looks amazing. Uh, we've got some shurikens, but there is one specifically that we want. There we go. Done and done. Now that one may have unlocked. No, it hasn't. Oh well. Uh, we can invest in here a little bit if we want to, but let's uh, continue looking for anything specific that we have to offer. I don't think we really had much in the way of magic items. Oh, there was a uh, fire star. I wonder why the fire shuriken didn't show up for us. Ah, interesting. Oh, well. We can go ahead and get the magic expedition down here. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Well, we still need a, a rare magic item, but oh, uh, we should be able to find that, I should imagine. All right, now we go through. Actually, we'll work our way backwards and just unlock everything we can. So the bird chant. At six block, removes one mana from connecting mana network, and if there's no mana, it is disabled. But this is each turn and for free. I think that is a yes on that. That being said, haha, <laughs> I remembered what I did last time, and that is I sold all of my, uh, used up all my gear before I wanted to. I wanted to build some stuff first. Uh, we unlock some other things. Uh, let's just double check. Oh, yes, yes. Sir. Oh, the copy star. Creates shurikens in empty adjacent spaces. Oh. Now that one's a nice one. We we'll definitely want to get the uh, stack star then. But let's go ahead and sell all of our gear. Uh, well, actually, let me check how much we're going to need for it first. Uh, I need a bit of food. Can I get a bit of food for all of this? Uh, odds are slim. Oh, no. No, we can all right, 70 food, sure. Yeah, let's let's do a, a builder, a uh, building focus one. All right, so temple, oh, we're shy enough. That was, that's quite disappointing, actually. Oh, we've got the jeweler, I suppose. We've got another house, a carpenter we can probably put up. Uh, let's go for the jeweler. Research accessories here, sure. Now, what kind of building do we want with that? Uh, it doesn't give me any... Uh, efficiency boost. It's a bit of a shame. All right. Uh, let's pop the jeweler over here then. Pop. And then we'll immediately just build out this. Uh, we're going to move the jeweler. Oh, let's slide you across. There we go. Done and done. Right, now let's go and have a look at all the things that I, I've just given away that would have been great. Right, okay, so we bring the sapphire, we'll get access to the ruby, which is a really nice one. A battle ring and some treasure will grant us the ring of rage. We can get the pearl, some food and treasure to get the red pearl. Weapons along a diagonal line get plus three damage, that's huge. The rogue's mask plus a shuriken will get us the ninja bag. Creates shurikens and empty adjacent spaces on taking damage. Oh, that's amazing, because if you're blocking it, that should just produce endless shurikens. And then you can use that uh, bomb build. That is huge. 
Uh, magic star bag with magic and column, two shurikens. Uh, this will give us a cre shurikens in empty diagonal spaces. Plus one to man cost this combat. Ah, okay, so you can use that one. Okay, quite nice, quite nice. Uh, the large heart ring, that's pretty cool. And then just loads of different gems. This is actually really nice. The crab cactus, what? Add three spikes to self when attacked. Ooh, that could scale very, very well. When combat ends, adds a shuriken. Create shurikens and empty diagonals. Okay, so I was not expecting the jeweler to be so important to shuriken builds, but apparently, yes. That is going to be a very interesting one. I'm loving seeing the potential for very themed builds here. That That is really, really exciting to me. Uh, let's go through and see if I can't use some treasure then on anything. Uh, or rather, anything I can fully unlock at the very least. Uh, doesn't look like anything there. It might not be able to, sadly, but we'll still have a quick sweep through, see if there's anything. Oh, nothing there. Got 24 I could invest there, I suppose, might be worth it. Brings us that a little bit closer. And this one, you'll start with these items, you must keep them the entire run. This one does reward something that we want, so sure, I'll grab that one then. Uh, then the last thing then is just to spend what remains of my treasure. Uh, I'm not really one for the consumables, though. I'm going to be honest, that is usually not something I go for, so let's let's look for other things first. Uh, we've got 48 there for the uh, Boohoo Buckler. On take damage, add 9 block. We could get the Night Shield, adjacent to diagonal armor, gets plus 1 block, adds 7 damage. We could get a left gauntlet. We haven't seen gauntlets very much. I wonder if it's because we we just need to unlock them. That it's, it's a requirement. There's no other way around it. The ninja costume add one dodge to self each turn. When your turn ends, remove remove 100% of block on self. Um, that would be you would have to build an entire idea around only being attacked once, which is a scary prospect. Mirror shield add six block. Remove two spikes from enemy. Remove two rage from enemy. Uh, let's not go for that one. Uh, however. I really do want to get the crow hammer at some point. I forgot that that one was there. Uh, the dagger. Yeah, sure. Let's invest in that one. And I think that's going to be it for now. All right. So let's find out what we're going to be doing. Again, we, we want a uh, purse focus build. And this time we're going to go with our Cthulhu mind version of purse. Meditation. Red flame. And windmill. Um, the broken idol cannot be placed in the same space twice. And then we'll move around. Otherwise, a fairly normal run. Red Flame. Uh, roof and backpack. Adjacent items are destroyed. A, a worse version of meditation. A significantly worse version, actually. And then the red, the crimson energy. If this is an item in two, if there is an item two spaces away, this item is disabled. Otherwise, it'll just give some energy. You know what? I think that might be a good one. Energy carries between runs. Okay, we're gonna do windmill two. I think. Sure. Let's head out then. But that is going to be it for this episode. I really do hope you have enjoyed. As always, do let me know in the comments below if you have uh, any suggestions, any tips that you'd like to share. Wow, I'm going to have to give this up because silly tote didn't show up for us. Damn it, tote. <laughs> but there we are. Nevertheless, I really do hope you've enjoyed this episode and I'm looking forward to the next one. It's going to be an interesting one since we can't do the uh, energy dump in order to take out our first enemies nice and quickly. But eh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem, I suppose. But that is going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do leave a like if you liked, sub if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Also, should we start a drinking game on how many times I can say until next time or in the next one at the end of these videos i i would like to but i also know that some people will probably die because i'm so bad at saying goodbye and i don't want to say goodbye i miss you when you're gone <laughs>